Hello there everybody, David Sanborn here, and welcome to another crossfire. What? This isn't crossfire. No, this is actually a game called AVA, um, similar to Crossfire. It is a first person shooter, as you can tell. And um, I really like this game. Uh, the graphics are, as you can tell, far superior to Crossfire, at least in my opinion. Uh, everyone has their own opinion, obviously, on uh, on what makes a game good. Um, graphics is a big thing for me. Not the only thing. I also take into account a lot of stuff when I'm deciding whether or not I like a game. And uh, this is actually one of my favorite um, first-person shooter games. Not that I've played a whole lot. And um, mainly I do play Crossfire just, bec just because um, it's the game in which I have the highest rank and have the coolest guns, <laughs> basically. Uh, but this is actually a cool game. They have a lot of unique modes, at least from what I can tell. And I thought, heck, why not? It's free. I'll post a video, um, see how it does. And just let me know if you like the um, different gameplays, different games, different styles. I'm really just kind of experimenting and seeing what works. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the map we're in. I don't know what it's called. Um, I just kind of picked a random map, picked a random mode, and went ahead and joined the game. I wasn't even aware that this was one of those um, escort the tank maps until like halfway through when I saw a tank moving. I'm like, oh crap, we're supposed to be stopping this tank. Um, <laughs> it was kind of sad that it took me so long to realize. I spend like a whole three to five minutes wandering around in one area because I think that there'll be some enemies over there when really they're all on the other side of the map trying to get the uh, tank safely through. So, um, yeah, I had no idea. But, um, <laughs> so yeah, this is AVA. I believe it stands for Alliance of Valiant Arms. It's a stay, uh, it's a game you can get on EG uh, for free. Really good game. The graphics, like I mentioned, are really good, especially for a free game. And I highly recommend this, especially if you like first-person shooter games. This is really um, a high quality and a free version. Uh, well, it's not. there's not a free version. It's actually entirely free. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who knows? Um, so yeah, also, in completely, completely unrelated to any gaming news, um, I've recently been listening to the new song by Paramore, Monster, which is really awesome, but I tend to think that anything by Paramore is completely awesome, so who knows. Um, and then, by the way, the reason I brought that up was because <laughs> I have nothing else to talk about, so heck, why not? So, I don't think I get any more kills, because I'm, I'm decent at crossfire. I know I said in my first video that I'm not good. I think I'm okay. I get more kills than deaths in crossfire. This game, though, I am so new to that, yeah, I don't do well. I, like, a lot of people would say probably, like, oh, you do better than you think you do. And in crossfire, that's true, I think. But in this game, I seriously do do not do well. Um, and again, it's just practice, and I haven't spent enough time in this game to actually get decent at it. Definitely not spent enough time in this game to get really good, but uh, give it some time. I'll probably be posting some videos down the road a little ways um, of AVA where I actually do have a decent um, streak here where I kill some people in, you know, actually don't die as often. Actually, I'd be happy if I just didn't die, let alone the uh, kills, but this is actually a fun game. You can, like I said, get it from eg.com. You have to download, um, it's kind of like Steam, but a little different. Not as um, common, I don't think, but you download like an eg um, thing. <laughs> That's all I can think of. I know there's a word for it. It's called like the EG Reactor, where you download it, and then you uh, there's a bunch of games you can choose from to download within that. And they have two first-person shooters, AVA 
and gosh, I don't know what it's called. Um, oh, Soldier Front, that's what it's called. Um, so this Soldier Front I have played, and I don't care for Soldier Front so much. It's just a personal opinion. The graphics are not nearly as good as they are in AVA. Uh, you can see here I got like a grenade launcher type thing. Uh, which I was so sad I didn't get to use. I really wanted to just shoot something with that. In fact, next time I play this game, I might just get it and randomly shoot things just because it looks awesome. <laughs> I'll be sure to record that, though, for you guys. Um, as you can tell by the music, we are getting close to the end of the game, and we do... Oh, I got the grenade launcher again. Sadly, again, I didn't get to use it. You're supposed to launch it at the tank, and it severely damages the tank, and then the um, the people who are supposed to be guarding the tank have to like repair it. Um, I haven't played. I played this game a decent amount. Oh, another cool thing is there's night vision in this game, which is awesome. At least in my opinion. <laughs> but I think anything that glows green is awesome. So, anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this particular mode. I generally play like a team deathmatch type thing in this game. I do know that you have to, on one team you're guarding the tank, and on another team you're trying to destroy the tank. So that's pretty much how this works. Um, and then like halfway through you switch teams, and then the people who were guarding the tank are now trying to destroy it and vice versa. Um, and we did fail. We, our, the team I was on didn't do as well, so, um, boohoo on that. <laughs> Probably mostly because of me. Sorry, team. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know what you think of the <clears throat> gameplay videos here on my channel. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.